Good afternoon from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm your host Nash Siawala. Uh, welcome to our weekly mindfulness masterclass program. As you can see, today we are outdoor here. Um, I have to do some business outdoor, and uh, one of the things I love to do where everywhere I go is to um, try to be among nature. Actually, this is one of the tips um, recommended by uh, Sen Mong um, Shun Miao Mosuno that. Uh, if you live in a city, uh, try your best uh, to try to find yourself among nature sometime uh, to um, give peace to your mind. Um, nature, as you can see, um, could be a tree, could be a small garden on your rooftop condominium, or it could be, uh, be try to be among the sunset. Uh, hello, Khun Wan from Canberra, Australia. Welcome to the show. I'm doing fine. Sorry, last week I was a little bit busy. I was not here. Today I prepared two topics to so talk to you and maybe I will throw in a third one uh, just uh, in case um, uh, we have time. I try to be here only around 15 minutes or so because after this I have to uh, go to do my voice training. <laughs> Sorry, Kapkun Namin. Sorry, Kapkun Wan. Uh, today we have three lessons. Lesson number one, uh, find yourself among nature. Do not estimate the power of nature. Here, the Shun Miao uh, Masuno monk, he tried with the um, uh, preschool children, uh, uh, kindergarten um, uh, uh, student, which is probably around three to five years old. Uh, and he let them find a little box and go into the garden and bring a little bit of sand, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of pepper and maybe branches from a tree and try to create um, their own um, uh, their own little miniature, miniature uh, sand garden in a box and do you know that uh, with this technique the sand monk can get a three year old, five years old Japanese student to be very focused and occupy with the little sandbox they bring back into the classroom. So the lesson here is that um, do not estimate the amount, how little it is of nature that you can bring close to you. It brings peace to the mind, it has a healing effect to your brain, and it can teach us even young children um, focus mindfulness. So this is, you can say, is a basic mindfulness training for children. Actually, the Reverend Tishnat Han also used uh, what he called pebble meditation or small rock or small stone for let the children to count the stone put together as a shape as a way to teach meditation to children. So this is lesson number one. And may I add also that in uh, Buddhist history, Every Lord Buddha, when uh, no matter he, he was a prince, no matter who he was before he can became Buddha, one thing that every Buddha have in common, do you know what it is? He would never ever get enlightened in his palace. He would always try to find himself going outside in a garden, in the forest most likely, uh, just to sit and may sometimes stand and relax in a garden and then the mind and the brain would be ready uh, for the enlightenment. Uh, you can also uh, do this at home, or I mean in your daily life. When you think that you are not ready to do meditation yet, find yourself among nature first and then um, you would find that um, your mind is ready faster, number one. Um, uh, number two is, uh, let's see, what. okay, there is a book called um, the the brain that knows its body or the the body that know that knows its mind it's a book about neuroscience actually uh in the forest right uh, um that's a book by a neuroscientist um saying that the brain when you bring your brain to be among the trees or near the tree a big tree immediately it can switch into the focus effect or the mindfulness effect right there automatically on the spot and it would remember this, that feeling well so if you want to start doing meditation not only the buddhist monks say you should be in the forest even the scientists say you should start by being under the big tree because the brain will start to get into the focus mode meditation mode relaxing mode peaceful mode only if you uh, just bring yourself under a big tree um, and then afterward, if you want to do sit meditation later, you can. But while you're outside, this book by the Zen monk also recommend a very easy technique, two technique, which is what I'm doing now, which is standing. Standing practice or standing meditation is not something you should do long because of course it's tiring. Uh, standing should always fo follow by um, 
uh, walking meditation but uh, I think that if you live in the city and you have to go to work like a BTS train stand on the train or uh, whatever public transportation or bus it is a good way to practice standing meditation uh, how you do it you focus your um, your body totally on the feet firmly on the ground you try to feel how your feet plant firmly on the ground feel the weight of yourself on your feet and if you have to sway with the public transportation just sway with it or if on sunday like this you can be among nature like me try stand in the garden just stand uh, observe the nature around you do nothing just stand and observe try to be a shy again maybe you can try one mindfulness games that in the u.s they used to teach children meditation by ask the children how many insects how many birds or how many animals that can see in the garden you can notice the different color of the leaves behind you you can different uh, notice or touch the tree behind you and no notice how it is so this is a two technique already first find yourself among nature second try standing meditation before you do walking meditation and the uh, last one that i would like to bring you to the, today is um uh, the same monk from japan said there is a spot a special spot in downtown tokyo called yanaka yanaka is a spot known as the sunset step the step itself is just um, not beautiful place to be a good man is ready cup but uh, it said that if you go there at the right place at the right time you will get to see the most beautiful sunset in tokyo and uh, when i come to think about it i think if you live in a city like me I don't think we have that much chance to bring ourselves to be among nature and just sit near the tree among nature um, and wait for the sun to set, right? Unless, of course, you can go to like Phuket Sandbox <laughs> or any beach that you can get yourself access to at this time during this COVID pandemic. Try from the balcony of your own condominium or anywhere close to you. Just try to catch the moment before sunset and wait patiently do nothing just wait and stand let let the wind touch your face feel the warm of the sun the sun um, the evening sun and you can try to just observe the cloud in the sky and be peaceful with yourself by yourself no need to be on the cell phone no need to talk to anyone just be yourself or you can bring a cup of tea or coffee actually i would um, part with you one one last um idea that if you work in a tourist business or if you want uh, in a, maybe a cafe, cafe business somewhere, um, coffee shop, restaurant, wherever you are, try to um, find a spot um, at your cafe or at the tourist spot, wherever you are, that can uh, you can get access to beautiful sunset because in Japan, when I went to Hokkaido, in Sapporo, there is one special tall tower. In Sapporo, I have to tell you, there's not much to say. There is only one main street in Sapporo, okay? <laughs> People only go there either to ski or to eat sushi. So <laughs> they have to try to find a tourist attraction and they are smart enough to notice that in downtown Sapporo, it is surrounded by big huge mountain which at the particular time of the day you can see the most beautiful sunset on Hokkaido so what they do they charge the tourists a lot of money to buy a ticket to go on the top tower top level of the um, I think it's called Sapporo Tower and just to sit and observe like um, it looks like on the top of a ob um, observatorium a planetarium on top um, like a penthouse you know what i mean it's all glass um sailing to floor window and what they do is they let people buy ticket and sit wait patiently as if the sky in front of them uh, under aircon or under the heater if depending on the season as if the big huge panel window in front of them is a theater and you know what they do they play classical music but not really really old classical but a classical that is just nice for the sunset you have to find yourself what is your family music but better be just instrumental what they do is just they do the timing of the music of the classical music to be at the same timing with the sunset so when the uh, music go to the peak part of the song before it dies down it is exactly at the moment when the sun would be setting on top of the mountain surrounding Sapporo and all the Japanese people who were there were totally quiet as if they sit sustained doing meditation in the meditation hall in the Zen temple 
peacefully just be, be there, observe the sunset, the true um, nature with light classical music and it's just a goosebump experience just to be there. No talking. Um, actually, if you ask me, um, it is not that boring, uh, that peaceful that can, you can even enjoy with your family, with your loved ones. And I saw many young Japanese going there in couples, like it could be a dating place, a very romantic place where you can be together mindfully holding each, each other hand and just enjoy the present moment with your loved ones. Enjoy the present moment with your loved ones and um, practice mindfulness among nature, watching the sunset together. I think that would be a very romantic date. Don't you think? <laughs> See you uh, next week and in our uh, weekly English language program. You can send me questions and comments in Thai and in English if you want to know how to practice mindfulness among nature uh, with happiness with your friends and family. I can try to find ideas for you. I'm Nas Yamwala. I'm a Thai mindfulness enthusiast. I teach, I write, I translate, I give workshops on mindfulness, brain and happiness. And believe me, I know how to find my happiness close to nature. Until we see again each other, each other again next week in have a mindful week. สวัสดีครับ from Bangkok Thailand สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ see you next Sunday thanks for watching now I'm gonna do my standing meditation นานา say hello hello I'm gonna do the standing meditation and walking meditation with my family here under the trees bye bye thank you bye 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 สวัสดีครับ